Hello students welcome back to my channel Did you know that behind every product you use and every service you enjoy there's an invisible force of choices and trade-offs In today's episode we will talk about powerful concept that lies at the heart of resource allocation and economic efficiency In this mind bending journey you will question the very limits of what our society can produce so get ready to uncover the hidden potential of our economy and discover how the choices we make can shape the world around us so grab on your thinking caps and join me as we embark on this adventure into the realm of production possibility curve now PPF PPC you can give it many names PPF stands for production possibility frontier and PPC is the short form of production possibility curve a PPC curve is a graphical representation of possible combinations of two commodities or two goods that can be produced with given resources and technology in other words if you want to write it down you can write it as a locus of various possibilities of combinations of two commodities or goods that can be produced with given resources or technology let us quickly take a look at what are the assumptions of the ppc curve now many of you must be thinking why there are assumptions these assumptions they help us to simplify the complexity of the real world situations right so let us quickly take a look at what are the assumptions the first assumption is we have fixed resources so the quantity of resources are fixed and as far as we know the scarcity definition we are aware that all the resources that we have on earth are fixed in terms of quantity but they have alternate uses so they can be put to one use from another so maybe say for example wood wood can be used to make furniture or it can be used as a medium of fuel or it can be used to construct buildings or houses so there are multiple uses that a particular resource can be put to there are only two goods that can be produced with a given set of resources so whatever fixed quantity of resources we have we can produce only two goods from those resources so that's it's an assumption in reality we can make multiple goods but we are sticking to two goods only for the sake of simplicity we assume that there is full and efficient use of resources in simple terms we can also write it as full employment every resource that this economy has is being fully and efficiently utilized we are also assuming that the technology the state of technology is constant there is no change in technological development segment because that would affect the productive capacity of the economy again quite related to point number 1 resources are not equally efficient in production of all goods that means whenever resources are being transferred from one use to another since the resource may not be efficient in production of the second use that it is being put to the productivity of that commodity may fall all right let's quickly take a look at how we can represent a ppc curve through a schedule and a diagram so this is a schedule we call this table as a ppc schedule and we can see that we have several columns here named as possibilities two commodities named paper and cloth in our case we have moc which is the marginal opportunity cost and mrt i didn't write the full form it's marginal rate of transformation all right now what does this table tell us so this table gives us various possibilities of combinations of these two commodities that can be produced with the given resources so in possibility a it's an extreme case where all the resources that the economy has are used in production of paper and there's no cloth that is getting produced in this economy likewise g is also an extreme case where all the resources are dedicated to produce cloth and no output of paper is happening in this particular economy so when we take a look at these columns which are named as paper and cloth these are the two commodities that are getting produced we can see that it is giving up paper to produce more of 
cloth that's what we meant by the last assumption that when resources are shifted from production of one commodity to another the output the productivity would fall so how do we analyze whether the productivity is falling or not so these two columns namely moc which is marginal opportunity cost mrt which is marginal rate of transformation these two columns would help us to know what is the trade off that is being made by this economy when it is deciding to produce more of cloth now when we see here in the combination b the output for paper has gone down from 50 units to 48 units and Uh, since the resources are being diverted for the production of cloth we are able to get 2 meters of cloth we are measuring uh, cloth in terms of meters so we are getting 2 meters of cloth likewise at possibility c we see there's a further more reduction in the output of paper it goes down from 48 to 44 units and we are able to gain two more additional units or two more meters of cloth so instead of 2 meters now we are able to produce 4 meters of cloth if we see this column we can observe that um as we move closer to g we are giving up more and more units of paper to produce an additional unit of cloth this is what we mean by marginal opportunity cost so when the production moved down from 50 units to 48 units marginal opportunity cost was 2 when my production went down from 48 units to 44 units of paper marginal opportunity cost was 4 the difference between these two is 4 likewise when production for paper went down from 44 units to 38 units in combination d we are producing 6 units of cloth opportunity cost or marginal opportunity cost is 6 which is the difference between these two likewise if we see marginal opportunity cost is in an increasing trend so it is going upwards from 2 all the way up to 18 mrt is the ratio of number of units of a commodity that is getting sacrificed in our case it is paper to gain an additional unit of another commodity in our case that commodity is cloth so that's the formula to calculate mrt so marginal rate of transformation is calculated as units sacrificed over units gained in our case according to this uh, situation mrt would be change in paper which is delta paper over delta cloth so if we take for example the possibility b it has to be possibility c let me just quickly correct that so at possibility c change in cloth is 2 which is the denominator and change in paper is 4 which is the difference between 48 and 44 which is 4 so at possibility c my marginal rate of transformation is equal to 2 now if you observe this column here it shows me how many units of paper have been given up to gain additional units of cloth now when we use the same equation and we substitute all these values these are the values of mrt that we get the figures in green so at possibility b it is 1 at possibility c it is 2 so 4 over 2 at possibility d it is 3 that is 6 over 2 likewise possibility g which again which is an extreme case so 18 over 2 is 9 now if we observe very closely just like moc mrt is also in an increasing trend that's what i've written here moc and mrt both are increasing now what is the significance of this statement is what we will see when we plot the diagram so now let's quickly take a look at uh, how the diagram for production possibility curve could be plotted so we have paper which is the commodity that we are sacrificing to gain more of cloth so paper is plotted on y axis cloth is plotted on x axis cloth is measured in meters paper in units right so at possibility a we have 50 units of paper with no production of cloth altogether so we have a point here at possibility b we have 48 units of paper with 2 units of cloth at possibility c 
we have 44 units of paper and 4 units of cloth likewise we move down all the way up to G where there is no output for paper but we have 12 units of cloth now after joining these pointers we get our PPC curve which is the production possibility curve now with this curve we are able to identify whether the economy is operating at a full employment level whether it is fully utilizing its productive capacity or whether it is under utilizing its, its productive capacity or if certain combinations of goods are attainable or unattainable so all the pointers that lie on this red curve which is a ppc curve are the points which will indicate that this economy is operating in a full employment level there is full and efficient use of all the given resources in this economy any point to the left of this particular curve let us say if we have a point here which is this uh, we name it as t all right so at point t we have approximately 18 units of paper and four units of cloth so this point is lying to the left of the curve indicating under utilization of resources so what does this mean it means there is spare capacity that can be used to increase production all right so this is what point t signifies now say for example there's another point which is say lying somewhere here which is called as point m at point m we have 40 units of paper and 12 units of cloth now this is a point which is pretty much unattainable by this economy because it does not have resources sufficient to produce this combination of goods so this point which is labeled as m is unattainable or all the combinations that are lying to the right of this particular curve so anything that lies within the curve or to the left of the curve indicates under utilization of resources there is spare capacity which is equivalent to this much and this can be uh, utilized by increasing the productive capacity or increasing the production or output at point m uh, we don't have enough resources so it's considered as unattainable so for any economy to be um, working at full employment level or um, having full and efficient use of resources it has to have any combination which lies on this particular curve now the moment the economy chooses to move from one production uh, possibility to another production possibility say for example uh, from point c it moves to point d so this movement on the production possibility curve would simply indicate that the people of the economy are now preferring more of cloth as compared to paper and hence it becomes uh, necessary for the government to divert resources from production of paper to production of cloth right and we also saw that since not all the resources are equally efficient so more was given up than the production this moc is the most important determining factor when it comes to the shape of this particular curve so in this case since moc was rising the shape of this production possibility curve is concave now how does moc impact the shape of curve is something that we will cover up in the next video i'll see you in the next video around bye now